I'm here to convince you to make a book. And specifically, there are stories in your life that are important enough that they should be told well enough that they can outlive you. Uh, that you should be able to consent, condense and synthesize part of your life into something that can uh, be shared to a bunch of different people after you've died, basically. This is my great-grandfather, Walter, and he was in the German army in World War I. He was an officer, and he took about 700 photos throughout the four years that he was in the war. And he made this large, complex, detailed photo album where it really shows the devastation of the war, but it also shows his friends and like his, his family involved in, the, in the, uh, the war. These guys up here, they just, I mean, you look through this album and you feel something where you want to get to know them. You want to kind of be able to see them and hang out with them, basically. Uh, but he also shows stuff like, uh, he shows the, the process of the war where they're destroying Europe, basically. There, uh, he, was a, he was in the trenches, he was an aerial reconnaissance photographer, and one of the things that's interesting about this book is he didn't really write too much in the, in the album itself, so most of it is a mystery. And when I first came across it, my mom just pulled out this big black photo album from, out, from under a coffee table and said, here, you need to look at this. And I spent two years researching this book and interviewing everybody in my family and trying to find out what the real story behind it is. And you can imagine the amount of time that Walter took to make this album originally, and he still quite didn't quite convey his stories properly. He, he's printing and uh, developing hundreds of photos, gluing them all into this album. And I decided this needed to be preserved for another 100 years. And I made a digital copy of it. I started working on this process of creating this, a, a book that somebody else could see even after I'm dead. And in the process of doing this, I wound up sharing the photos and sharing the book and the story online on Reddit's history section. And I found out that there's this group of people out there who are really interested in the stories of history and the stories of these times. And they want to know about this kind of thing. So I, I reached out to Kickstarter. I found 2,000 people who were, wanted to hear Walter's story, wanted to hear this family story that we thought was just interesting to our family. And I started to develop this. I started to make a book out of it. And they, we had, I got so much encouragement and support, and they helped me translate the difficult German script, and now I have a book. And if this was this is a process that changed my life entirely. It would really change how I think about everything and how I go about just what I do. And you're probably thinking, well, as I tell this story, well, I don't have a story like that. This, you know, Walter's, this is fantastic. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not at the cusp of an era. I'm not in the middle of a war. But what makes Walter's so fo photos so interesting is they're genuine, they're intimate. These are photos of his friends. This is just him and his buddies like fooling around with the dog. There's a whole page, there's a whole page spread of this dog. <laughs> and the dog, the dog is fantastic, but like, really. So there are modern instances of this too, where uh, there are people like these kids, these teenagers in Southern California breaking into people's backyards and going and skating in their neighbor's pools. And this guy, Craig Stasek, went around with these guys from Dogtown, the Z-Boys, and he's taking these photos and he's collecting it. And it turns out that this is like the cusp of uh, skateboarding becoming a real thing. Surfing, surfing culture switching into the streets, becoming a skateboarding culture. And you've got stories like this too. They're in your, they're in your computers, they're, they're around, they're on, on Facebook, but it's not something that you can give to somebody. It's not something that you can share easily. And it doesn't have that personal connection to what you're talking about, what you want to share. So here's a great example of how you can solve that problem. I received this book from my friend Kevin uh, last year for Christmas. And it details his time in the Himalayas in 1976, where he went on this travel, he went on this journey. And when I went through the book the first time, the first thing I thought was, where can I get a sweet sweater like that? <laughs> But as I started to think about it, and I had the book for a year, I really wanted to, uh, I wanted to have a journey like this. I felt, I felt connected to this. I felt con more connected to Kevin, too. And the book itself is very simple. It's very simple paper. It's something he made on a vanity press. He made it on Amazon CreateSpace or Lulu.com or something like that. And it's something he made on his computer at home. And then he printed it out and had it sent out to everybody on his address book. And so telling your story is not very difficult. It's not very expensive, 
And it's totally worth it. It'll change your life. So please go do it.